So good evening, everybody. Uh, I, I, I know it's a, it's a difficult time, uh, but I'll try to be as brief and uh, as precise as uh, possible. Uh, first of all, I'm uh, substituting uh, my colleague, uh, Cristoforo Battista, uh, that uh, fortunately, and well for him, his wife uh, gave, uh, gave birth uh, 25 uh, days before schedule uh, of his third son, so I have to substitute him, and even though this is not exactly my area of expertise, so uh, you will excuse also any kind of um, uh, weak points uh, in my uh, presentation. So uh, what uh, I'm going to talk to you about and uh, what we as Planetech decided to present in this uh, very interesting workshop uh, for which I take the chance to, to congratulate again the organizers for the work that they have been doing uh, the late uh, <laughs> Okay, uh, so um, congratulations again for the very nice work. Uh, the title is a 2D and 3D analysis of planetary subsurface radar data, uh, for which I'm very happy <laughs> to, to, I was very happy before to see Roberto presenting what it is uh, specifically, and uh, I'm not, uh, I won't need uh, to, to, to reply to any specific question. Roberto, Roberto is here and uh, for sure uh, he knows a lot more on, on, the, on the domain. Uh, instead, uh, I'll just say some uh, very uh, brief words on uh, who we are. I represent Planetech, Planetech Elas. Uh, we are working here in ESAC. Uh, we have, uh, uh, I have in the same room two colleagues of, of mine, uh, Stratos and Maria who are working in uh, two different projects in, uh, here uh, in ESAC, one uh, uh, on building a system for uh, the Planck uh, data and another one for collecting, uh, for bringing together publications and observation for the various uh, scientific missions. Uh, we are a, a group of uh, companies uh, with the mother company being in, in Italy and uh, the one that I come from, uh, Planet Echelas in, uh, in Athens and we have been working the last uh, something more than 25 years in uh, building uh, spatial data infrastructure or, or how is the term lately because it's mostly known and in the past mostly was known as a simple web GIS. So we have been doing uh, in the last 20 years uh, something more than uh, like 100, 110 web GIS, deployed web GIS uh, uh, infrastructure. Uh, I would say that 97% uh, of those uh, refer to the Earth, but some of those, as, wa as what I will uh, speak immediately, refer also to data coming from uh, other uh, planets. In specific, I will be uh, presenting you the activity that we undergone under the PROC project, which stands for Planetary Radar Operations Center. And, uh, is a project that we implemented in the framework of a contract uh, that was funded by uh, the Italian Space Agency with the objective to bring uh, together, to integrate uh, the, the different uh, operative centers of uh, the Italian Space Agency, of ESA and of uh, NASA uh, for the joint planetary missions uh, as the uh, Mars uh, Reconnaissance Orbiter, Mars Express and Cassini Huygens uh, relatively to three uh, instruments on board of these uh, missions, the, the Sharad, the Marsis, and, uh, and, uh, and Cassini. Uh, the objective of, uh, of the PROC system uh, was to build a, a system that uh, would disseminate uh, the data and, uh, and uh, the different information from these three instruments to the wider public, uh, to the scientists, and uh, in general uh, to, the, to, the, to the scientific, uh, to the community interested in this uh, specific data. Um, this system and this activity should not only, of course, uh, provide information on, 
on the observations, but on anything relative also to the observations, such as papers, news, and anything else uh, that can be of, uh, of such interest. On the same hand, uh, the system should provide, of course, uh, as, a primary, uh, as a primary objective uh, to, uh, the, to the scientific community, of course, mostly the tools and the services uh, to exchange uh, raw and processed data coming from this, uh, these instruments. This is a, a slide uh, containing the logical architecture of the, of the system produce, of the space GIS produced in the framework of this activity. And on the left-hand side, you can see a typical, uh, uh, the typical, uh, the, the web user interface, which is, uh, which is a, a user interface that you can, you can see more or less in, uh, in, uh, in all uh, web GISs uh, that, uh, that target uh, ground, uh, the target Earth observation data. And on the right hand, you can see the logical architecture of the back end, which is uh, with starting from the bottom, uh, where uh, from the data are coming in yellow, from the uh, from the three uh, different uh, instruments, from the three different operation centers of the three different instruments, and on the left side, uh, uh, it is uh, for the data of uh, of. Um, of vector format uh, uh, GeoServer, and uh, for the data in uh, raster format, uh, the, the Erdas image web server, which is also uh, uh, the added value that, um, that we got into this, uh, that is uh, inserted into this system. Uh, and one of the important, uh, and the most important technological aspect, exactly because uh, this technology which uh, we very much used in Earth observation data provides the uh, the ability uh, in uh, streaming the data, uh, in streaming the raster data, in streaming the images, or in other words, to serve the data in a very fast and efficient way. Above this uh, is uh, the Postgres SQL and uh, PostGIS uh, uh, database for uh, the alphanumeric and cartographic uh, information, and uh, a content management system named PLON, which integrates uh, all uh, the below and uh, manages the, the, all the content uh, of, the, of the system. Uh, as I said before, uh, this is, this is a diagram showing the data stream. Um, uh, the most, uh, one of the most important uh, uh, aspects is the, the fact that uh, the data coming from the instruments and in specific from the operation centers are converted into a format that can support the streaming. This format is the, the usually uh, known, uh, uh, the JPEG 2000 which uh, can support data uh, provided via the internet in a, streaming, uh, in a streaming line. You can see that at the DM converter. So this, uh, the most important, let's say, issue from a technical point of view is the conversion of the, of the, of the formats of the, of the radar gram into JPEG 2000 in order for the system to be able to, to serve it. This is the PROC uh, web interface, which, uh, which is, uh, uh, as you can see, uh, uh, a web interface containing all uh, the, the needs of the dissemination, uh, all the dissemination needs for the project itself. And one of these needs, it's, it's the production of the space GIS that I mentioned below, before. One of the important aspects of the, of the space GIS of the, of the PROC uh, system is the fact that is, uh, I might be using uh, standard, uh, standard terminology but uh, it is important to mention this one, that is uh, the so-called the modular one, is the fact that uh, different missions and, uh, of dif on different planets can be added to the system apart from these two, from these three uh, instruments. And uh, not only that, but for each mission, different kinds of, uh, of processors can be configured, uh, different levels of product can be shown, and different metadata also um, uh, shown in the same way on the Space GIS uh, application. Uh, this is an example of, uh, of, uh, of, uh, of an administration panel for, for, the, for the product uh, 
that are inserted into the, into the system and I will not stay much on this one. And one other important uh, aspect is the fact that uh, uh, all the, uh, apart from the product itself, all, also the processors uh, that are needed, uh, that run in order to produce these products for each instrument can be managed, added, of course, erased and uh, generally managed by the system administrator. In this case, we see uh, for each instrument uh, three, uh, which, are, which, are, uh, which of the processors are uh, running, which are on hold, and uh, so on. And exactly because one image is, uh, uh, is better than 1,000 words, we've prepared for you a video uh, which shows the basic, uh, the basic uh, functionalities of the system, of the Space GIS. So in this case, uh, we are, uh, you, can, you can do the, 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 normal, uh, the normal search for, uh, for each uh, product mission, you can check uh, the type of uh, product and uh, do the query to the system which uh, responds with the category, with the catalog of the data that are relevant uh, to the information that uh, were uh, put into the, into, the, uh, into the search engine. So you can see here the, the various categories of the product and the various metadata for each type of, uh, of product that matched my search criteria. And uh, after choosing one, two of those, the WebGIS uh, uh, opens, and uh, you can see on the left side uh, a map, uh, a map of Mars. And uh, I don't know if you can see the, the brown line, the brown vertical lines that uh, reflect, uh, that correspond to the track of uh, the of the of the data uh, at that time. Uh, track of the data, meaning the acquisitions that were made in that, at that area of the, uh, of the, of the planet. And uh, with the red color uh, uh, at the bottom, there is uh, the specific uh, track of these two data, of these two, uh, two data sets that we are now, uh, now looking at our system. As you will see here, and I will refer to what I uh, mentioned in the beginning, the so-called streaming uh, uh, helps, uh, or at least provides uh, the ability to navigate within the data in a very fast way. So you can see that the system responds pretty fast, and this was another characteristic of the, of the streaming, so, so the server brings back to you what uh, the, the percentage, the amount of the data that are missing from the image that you are seeing. And furthermore, uh, more, uh, furthermore analysis uh, on the eco values of each frame are possible through the, uh, through the, through the system itself. Uh, not, only, not only to the, uh, this frame that we are uh, searching, but to the previous and to the to the right after one, as uh, as it is uh, mentioned, as it is mentioned in uh, in this uh, in this part of the video. Uh, of course, you can see uh, the basic functionalities of uh, of uh, each uh, uh, the basic functionality. You, you you were able before to see the basic functionalities of each WebGIS as a zoom, a pan, zoom in, zoom out, pan, a print, etc. And uh, right after, the video is uh, showing us right now what we did in order to produce uh, the a 3D view of, uh, of, of, the subface, of the subsurface by uh, getting these uh, radargrams, these georeference radargrams, and uh, using an open source application, uh, which is called uh, Paraview, uh, upon which we uh, we took uh, some of the radargrams, some of the uh, georeference radargrams, and produced uh, this output, which helps the user in getting a better, a much better understanding of the, of the data that uh, come to him from the various, uh, from, this, uh, from these three different uh, instruments.
So, this was all. For any further information, we would be delighted to, to if in case I will not be able to respond to you, we will come back to you with, uh, as soon as possible with my colleagues. And of course, you can meet my colleague here uh, that is based, that my two colleagues that are based in ESAC, uh, for anyone that uh, resides in, uh, here in Madrid, uh, even uh, after our uh, workshop, of course. Thank you very much.